What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com, back again with the NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Sunday, January 8th. And be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who are your favorite and least favorite plays for today's slate. Finally, I need you guys to go check out BetMGM. Link in the description. You can get two free months of Stochastic Plus Platinum, along with a risk-free bet of up to $1,000, so long as you follow that link in the description of this video. Now, we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Christian Wood, Dylan Brooks, D'Angelo Russell, DeJounte Murray, and Shea Gilgis-Alexander on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, I'm taking a look at John Collins. He's power forward, center, eligible 7K, projected for 36. The goal is 45. He's in the optimal lineup 25% of the time. Collins playing big minutes now with Clint Capella out. 34 minutes here for Collins. He could play more, 1.05 fantasy points per minute. A double-double straight out of the gate. 16 points, 11 rebounds, an assist, and two stocks. This is a slight pace down spot against the Clippers, but it should be a competitive matchup. Hawks are three and a half point dogs here, so... Take the good positionality, take the solid price, and take those increased minutes for John Collins. At number four, I'm looking at Anthony Edwards. He's shooting guard, small forward, eligible 8,700, projected for 44. The goal is 53. He's in the optimal lineup 27% of the time. Anthony Edwards gets a date with the Houston Rockets, and they are pretty bad. Defense is terrible. The pace in this one should be really nice. 37 minutes for Edwards, so long as he plays. 1.2 fantasy points per minute, 28% usage, 25 points, almost seven boards, almost five assists, almost two steals. Maybe you get a blocked shot. I love the positionality. You get that guard forward eligibility, always helpful for lineup flexibility. As long as Anthony Edwards can make it out on the floor today, he should smash against the Rockets. Now we take a big step up in tier. Give me Jaden Hardy. He's shooting guard eligible, 3,700, projected for 24. The goal is 28. He's in the optimal lineup 36% of the time. I gave him 25 minutes. I think he's just going to step into a bunch of playing time with no Luka Doncic here for the Mavs. It's a .95 fantasy point per minute guy. It's mostly scoring, 14 and a half real points, four boards, two assists, and a stock. It's a major pace up spot for Dallas against OKC. And it should actually be competitive. They're three and a half point dogs, even without Luca. This is the easiest place that you're going to be able to find value today. Look no further than Jaden Hardy. You should also be looking at Tim Hardaway Jr. Shooting guard, small forward eligible, great eligibility, 5,400. Projected for 32, the goal is 37. He's in the optimal lineup 37% of the time. Clearly going to be handling the ball a little bit more with no Luka Doncic. I got him as a 0.9 fantasy point per minute guy in 36 minutes. 23% usage, and I think that you could see it go even higher than that. 19 points, five boards, two and a half assists, and a steal. Same matchup for Hardy. Pace up against OKC, competitive nature, great positionality, excellent price tag. Hardaway certainly not priced for Luka being out. It's going to be hard to avoid the Mavs today. When you take Luka Doncic off the floor, everybody gets infinitely better. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are and then go sign up at BetMGM using the link in the description. Your number one contender for today is Spencer Dinwiddie. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 6K, projected for 38. The goal is 40. He's in the optimal lineup 45% of the time. Dinwiddie already plays massive minutes when Luka is in. It's clearly not going to stop when he's out. He's a fantasy point per minute guy playing 37 minutes, 22% usage, and that could be way more. 20 points, 7 assists, 4.5 boards, and a stock. Look, he is dangerously close to hitting his target score as a median projection. There will be no more obvious and no easier guy to get to today than Spencer Dinwiddie. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Sunday, January 8th. DraftKings version's around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.